Hi folks and welcome back to Coleman in Exiles. This is episode 2 in the Beginner's Guide and what we're aiming to happen in this episode is we're going to get ourselves some proper armour, we're going to get some iron, smelt the iron and hopefully turn that into some better tools and hopefully if we get enough iron we should be able to get some weapons on the go as well. So let's get started, let's see off screen all I've done is I've went and I've got myself a little bit of stone and a little bit of wood just to speed this episode along a bit. But I can see we've got 108 hide and we've got a bunch of fibre so to make armour we're going to need a bunch of twine so let's just get that crafting in the background. So if we go into feats under the armour section we currently have weaver which gives us the basic cloth armour, which gives you a total armour value of one per piece. Oh, apart from the tunic, which is two. Of course, because there's no headpiece, so that gives us a total of five armour, which is practically nothing. But it does give us one little bar of cold and heat protection, so it's better, better than nothing at all. And we learn the armourer. We can now learn the armourer's bench, and we've got light armor, medium armor, and heavy armor, and the various paddings that are required to uh, to make that. Uh, what we have is that the light armor just requires hide, medium armor will require leather and iron to make, and the heavy armor will require heavy leather and steel to make, which is not something we're remotely close to at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with crafting ourselves a set of light armour and this will be the first item that we don't craft it in our hands, we have to craft it at the armourer's bench. So the very first step is of course we're going to craft an armourer bench. So we now have learned that, so let's have a look and see what we need make an armor's bench we need 200 stone we need 100 wood and we need 25 twine so we can get 200 stone 100 wood and the twine and let's get crafted let's cancel the twine so we can get the armor's bench going and then we can re the twine back up again because we'll need that to make the armor itself over here. Can you see it slowly crafting away to itself in the bottom left corner? No, that's the bottom right corner. Perhaps if you know your left from the right. Almost there. Okay. Alright, so we can spin that around and we'll just stick it up against the wall here. Now, when we look in the bench, we can see all the things we can craft in the bench. So there's a bunch of different armors that we showed you before. Uh, some of these are DLCs armor. So these Nibidian is from the People of the Dragon DLC. The Pictish is the Savage Frontier DLC. Uh, this armor here is special armor that was given to people who pre-purchased the game before it was released. So the Royal the royal armor. And so what we are looking for is light armor. There we go. And to make light armor we need one light padding and a bunch of hide for each piece. So the light padding is also hide and twine. So let's grab our hide. I don't think we've got to have enough hide. No, we've definitely not got to have enough hide to make a full set of armor, but let's Let's see what we can get. So we've only got enough to make four paddings at the moment. So let's make two and save some of our hides for actually making armor pieces. Okay, I'm going to speed this up so we can get this built back in a second. Okay. 
Okay, that's the two pannings made. So let's see what we've got. 30 for that and 24. So we've just got enough to make the chest piece and the leg piece. There we go. Okay, so let's grab a hold of them. And we can see here that this light armor already gives us 11 armor. So that one piece there is more than twice of our total armor at the moment. Uh, and we get eight from the, the leg piece. Both of them are low grade light armor. Uh, and they give you a bonus of encumbrance. So for each item that you wear, you get one extra point in encumbrance. So we can use this to not only protect us, but we're allowed to carry some more. So let's put them on, get a journey step for equipping a piece of light armor. And there we go. Don't we look fantastic? We'll drop a core stuff in there. Right, so now we need to go and get some more hide so that we can make the other three pieces of the armor set. And we have a tool here called a skinning knife. So this skinning knife, instead of using the, the stone hatchet on a, a shaleback corpse or, or whatever we've killed to give us a little bit of hide and a little bit of meat, you can use a skinning knife to give you mostly hide with a little bit of meat. Or you can use the cleaver to give you mostly meat with a little bit of hide. So since we're after hide, we're going to craft ourselves a little stone skinning knife, which needs five sticks and 20 stone. Let's grab that. 20 stone. In fact, we'll take a bunch of stone because we'll also repair our tools and weapons while we're at it. Uh, so stone skinning knife, craft one of them. We'll repair our pickaxe, we'll repair our hatchet, our sword and shield are okay. There we go, we've now got a stick and a knife. And it's night time. So I'm now going to wait until morning and I'll see you soon. Okay, welcome back. Morning has risen, so we can now... In fact, let's have to put some food in here. I'll take that with us as well. Alright, let's go and see what we can see. So, there's usually some shale backs just sitting across here. There we go. So, the red one is down sleeping, so we'll try and sneak up on it and see if we can get it without the other Skinning knife. And skinning knife again. So we've got 134 hide using that skinning knife, and we've got eight raw meat sitting on our hot bar there. Um, is there any more down here? There's an alligator down here, and then there's maybe a couple more. So we'll just go for a little adventure and see what we can find. Not an alligator, either the crocodiles. Around here somewhere. in there. So I can't remember whether I fought a crocodile in the first video, but they're pretty easy because they do that lunge forward. So as long as you keep to the side, just keep going in circles till they lunge and then off to the side. Stuck on the rocks. Come on then. Missed. And he's down. He's got a level. So 
have a look what we've got. Uh, 12 points to spend. So you can see here that from that two pieces of light armor we've got, that's given us a plus two in encumbrance, which has almost pushed our encumbrance up into that first park slot. Uh, let's go and have a couple more grit. Let's see if we can get all the way there we go. So the first perk, strong grip, so we'll use 10% less stamina when we climb. And then we'll aim to try and get the, the strength into the next perk slot as well. And let's skin this guy. And go looking for some more shield backs. Should be somewhere in this area here. Oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, he's fighting one of the NPCs. So there's a named NPC here. Nurus the Backstabber, who's a fighter. So at some point we'll be wanting to tame one of these guys. But right now. See who wins this fight, and I'm going to take it. Oh, well, he didn't win it. So I'm going to take it. Shield up. There we go. And we'll take the skinning knife. Skin these guys. And see what you have on you. No, oh, he does have. They quite often will drop medium armor. So you can get some free medium armor. Um, I'll take that. I'm not going to bother about the other stuff. And in fact, I'll skin you as well. We don't need the fangs, we don't need the feral flesh, we didn't get any humor for it. Right, so we've got 260 hide now. So that's going to be more than enough. So let's get back. Should be nice and safe because there's a camp of XLs across the across the water there. We managed to pick up 12 meat while we were at it, so we'll get that back in the campfire when we get home. Okay. In fact, I'll speed this section up as well, so I'll see you when we're back in the house. Okay, here we are, home again. Let's put the hide in there. So we're going to need another three light paddings. And then we'll make the turban, the gauntlets, and the boots. Okay, we're done. Right, so we're going to grab the three items, we'll get them on, and then I'll throw the coarse ones in the, there. One thing worth noticing, that when we skinned that crocodile, we didn't get hide like we did with the shalebacks, we got reptile hide. And we can't use that in its current state. So what we need is we need a tanner's bench to tan the reptile hide, the same as with feline hide, rhino hide, various other hides. You turn them into hide, and then you go into the tanner's bench and can, you can turn hide into leather for the medium armors. But we'll, we'll come to that a bit later. So we've now got our full set of light armor on. Looking great, and if we go back to our attributes, we've now got a plus five in encumbrance, which has pushed us over the first perk. 
which is not the best perk in encumbrance. You deal 10% extra damage whilst you're over encumbered, but swing using 10% less stamina when not over encumbered. So I guess it means that we're, we'll be using 10% less stamina while we're fighting, but I don't really want to go and fight someone whilst over encumbered just to get that 10% extra damage. Okay, let's uh, just take our items and get them all. Okay, let's get them all repaired. Because the next thing we're going to do now, we've got full armor, is we're going to try and go and find some iron to get ourselves some better weapons. Uh, let's just check our feats first. So. The first thing you need to do with iron is melt, smelt it in the furnace. So where is that? Here's the furnace here. So there's the furnace and the blacksmith bench, so we'll unlock that. And then there's the iron tools, we'll unlock that. Alright, so the furnace is here. It needs 500 stone, I believe we've got that already, and then the blacksmith bench to make the tools in needs 50 iron bars and then 250 stone. So 50 iron bars, it takes two iron stone ores to make one iron bar, so that's 100 iron stone we're going to need just for that. And then the iron pick, which we won't be able to see because we make that in the blacksmith bench, but I believe it takes 30. So we're going to need a minimum of 160 to make just a pick. And then once we have the iron pick, we'll be able to then use that to mine the iron ore easier. So there's an iron node right there that's guarded by this crock here. Let's take out the clock. Same as before. Watch it go flying on. Has it got stuck in this rock? Well, I'm not going to complain. Take out the clock. Uh, we'll skin it. And then we can mine this iron node here. get from that? We got 12 from that, so not a lot. And okay, we'll head up the hill here. There's another node up here. At the moment, because we don't have that great of tools and there's those hyenas round and about there that are quite nasty to take on, I'm going to try and grab as many nodes that don't have mobs guarding them as I can. Or if the mobs are guarding them, then it's a single mob and not multiple mobs. So we're going to come over to this little lake here, and if we see, look at that on the map. There's a little inland lake. And it's got crocodiles all the way around it. But you can just see it through the trees there. It's got one of the Three Skull World Boss crocodiles. So we are definitely not going to be messing with that at this level. I've got a, a guide on the channel that shows you how to fight that guy. But we certainly won't be doing it in light armour, stone tools and no followers to help us. Alright, got that node. Let's slide down here. Keeping away from him. Couple more nodes here. Six getting there. Some more blacks over here. And somewhere around here there's let's make around this next corner. Here we go. Another two nodes here.
150. Yep. Some red ones going there. Get angry. So again, shield up, let it attack, and then we go and get a little combo. Shield back up. Down. We'll borrow its skin. Promise I'll give it back. Uh, is there any more around here? I think there's one more node around here somewhere. Maybe there is. Okay. That's 174. That's enough. Get this started. Stamina. Oh, we're also thirsty, so I'm gonna head to the water and get a drink. I do have my water skin on there, but free water here. Well, oh, this. Croc has respawned. Circle, circle, circle. Wait for the jump. And then combo. Circle, circle. Go. Oh, it's stuck on a tree. Jumped over it. Totally confused it. Go. Uh, actually, there's a. Uh, there it is, an iron node around here. Let's just head back to the house and get a smelter on the go. Oh, in fact, before we do that, we've come back, we've looped around this little lake, so you can see the boss croc over on the other side there. But if I just head up the hill just a little bit, we can get some better fuel. Something. Comes another one. Oops. Even telegraph their their pants is pretty easy since. Guys, at such low level, such poor tools that we've got. If I'm not even going to skin them, save my weight. Right, these trees here, these white dead trees. I think it's best if you use a pick on them. Oh, just give us bark. Let's try another one. That gives bark. Okay, let's try the hatchet. There we go. Dry wood. And dry wood burns longer than standard wood. So it's a better fuel source for our campfires and our furnaces than plain wood. Until we can move into coal, which burns even longer. There we go. I think that's them all. So what did we get there? We got 22 dry wood. So that will help us fuel our furnace for longer. Right, so now I'm 
on my way back. I've got a little bit of encumbrance left, so I'll just skin this guy. Anyway. Head down the hill. Out of stamina again. Need to watch that. Build up. There we go. Okay. Here. Alright, so we need to build that furnace, which I think it said it was 500 stone. And craft that in your inventory, so there it is. Craft one of them. Let's get that meat in here and get that cooking. And we'll put the hides in here. We'll throw that out, we'll throw that out. We'll keep that for the moment. We'll need that in a bit. Okay. There's the furnace. Let's tuck it in the corner as far as we can. There we go. We'll put the fuel in it. We'll put the iron stone in it and we'll hit the play button. And it's so the 202 iron stone bars, like I said, it was a two to one. So it's got to craft this. Well, it's, it's used two already. So yeah, it's got to craft this 102 iron bars. So now we need to wait for us to get 50 of them so that we can uh, make the blacksmith bench. So in the meantime, we can learn tannery, which is here which gives us the tannery for turning hide into leather and it also gives us the tanner bench for stripping the various hides for example the reptile hide into hide let's unlock that what do we need to craft that it is there 200 stone 100 wood and 50 bark I told you we'd need the bark Sixty of that. There we go. Hundred wood. Oh, it's actually the tanner's table that I wanted to make first. So let's make that first. So we'll need another hundred wood. To craft a tannery as well. Which was Small, so we'll fit in that slot there. There we go. Spin it round, slot it in there. So now we can take this reptile out here and stick it in here, and then we can go strip hide. So again. It says it takes two hide, but I think that then crafts three. Just make one. Yes, it makes what two reptile hide to three hides. So craft all that. Uh, you can also use this instead of using your inventory. You can use this to craft twine, either from plant fiber or vines. Uh, so hit that. Throw a bunch of plant fibre in there and just leave it crafting. Right, the tanner's table is made, it's considerably bigger. So we'll stick it in this corner here. There we go. And it needs bark as its fuel source. So you get bark by using a pickaxe on trees instead of a hatchet. There we 
go up, got 50 from that three trees. So if we put that in there, we take some hide, and we put that in there, and it, play, it makes leather. But as a byproduct of leather, you also will make tar. And on a, you get a one to one, so every leather you get one tar. And we'll be using tar later on to make some other stuff, so that's something that's very useful. So I'm quite happy for that. And we'll use the leather for crafting medium armor in a bit once we've got enough iron to do that with. So now we just have to wait for that to smelt down. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for a bit, so I'll catch you now. Catch you in a little bit. Okay, welcome back folks. We can see that our iron has been smelting away for a wee while now, and we've got 70 iron bars. Obtaining an iron bar is another journey step. So, let's just check our blacksmith bench. So to make that, we need 50 iron bars and 250 stone. So we've got enough stone there. So let's get that crafting. While that's crafting, I can have another look at our feet because the first thing we want to make Oh, we've already learned iron tools, I think. Uh, yes, we have iron tools. So the first thing we want to make is this iron pick, because that will allow us to get more iron out of a node than it does with a stone pick. There we go. Five, so it's one of these quite a large bench, so we're going to put it in this way. We'll have a cra carpenter's bench to build eventually and it's very similar so it'll go in a 90 degree there and we look in here there's our iron pick so it needs 30 iron bars and five sticks so we'll take those sticks stick them in there 20 we've got another 10 in here there's nine one more Also want an iron hatchet, which is another 30 iron bars. Iron sickle will come in handy eventually as well. Sickles allow you to harvest the plant fibre and uh, considerably more plant fibre than hand picking them. Craft an iron tool, so let's throw the stone one in there and we'll take a hold of that. And we'll use that and we'll go out on another iron run. I'll see you shortly.
Okay, there we go. I think on the last run with the stone tools, we got 202 iron from those exact same nodes. But this time with an iron pick, which has got much more durability, so it lasts a lot longer, we got 642. So that'll give us 321 iron. So now let's get that smelt in. Probably going to need some more dry wood. We'll put our bark in here. Put that in there as well. Okay, a moment for. We'll check out the bones and we'll keep the head for them. In fact, we'll keep the head in our chest. You can learn how to make trophies out of various animal heads so you can have them mounted on your wall. Or, rather gruesomely, you can squish them in a press to get blood out of them. But we won't do that at the moment. Okay, so now we... What was that in there? Was that our skinning knife? Oh no, it's in our inventory. Now we just have to wait for this to smelt up. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back folks. Well, the smelter has been burning away and has managed to smelt 90 gold, uh, gold bars, 90 iron bars. Uh, as, a, as I thought, we're almost out of dry wood, so that's that's not all going to get smelted. But this will be enough to get us going for the moment. So I'm going to stick that in the blacksmith's bench and we can see the hatchet here, which was also 30 and 5 sticks, so we'll craft that. Now we need to look at weapons. So if we go into feats and go into weapons, we can see the various weapons that are available to us. So warrior is one-handed weapons, maces, swords, axes, uh, epic is for level 60, defender is shields, bruiser is two-handed weapons, whether it's again two-handed swords, pikes, hammers, battle axes, Skirmisher is daggers or punching daggers, which is another new addition to the game. A archer is bows and the various ammunition that goes with it. And then we've also got explosives at the bottom. I highly recommend that any person who's new to the game tries out a whole bunch of these because um, they all do slightly different things and you get different favourites, so try them out, see what you think. I'm going to go for the short sword. Unlock that. Uh, can I just check the shield? So I'll have to be level 20 to get the iron shield and I'm only level 18. So we'll do the wooden one instead. Okay, slightly better than the basic one we've got just now. So now we go back in here, we see the iron short sword, and I'm going to craft one of them. And I believe the wooden targe will be in here, so there it is. It needs 16 wood and 12 iron bars. Got some wood, we do with you. Iron hatchet, and we'll leave that in there. I'll take our short sword and we'll leave our wooden stone sword in there. And here, this is almost ready, so we'll throw the old shield in there and we'll take a new one. Let's see. There we 
go. Now the shield slightly better in the sword. And let's go and just have a quick. Spawned over here. It has it. Okay. Let's try and bypass that two hyenas and we'll come to this one hyena here. Okay, we've pulled it. Let's get our shield up. The trick with this shard is we do right click and then left click and it does that multiple stabs and practically takes it down without it getting a bite in. And now they've taken it out, it just so happens that behind it here is another iron node. And there's one more over here. Start putting some into health as well. Get our health pool up, so we'll have to heal up since we've lost that health pool. And now we'll take on this two hyenas. Hidden in this rock here is another one. So that's opened up another four iron nodes to us for this one. Uh, I've got another video available to us that I'll link in the description that I call the easy iron run, which is just the loop that I've just been doing here. And all the iron nodes that are in it. So I'll link that in the description below. But there we go. So from the house. So today we've now moved into full armor. That's this light armor. We've got our workbenches. We've done an iron run. We've got enough iron to craft us a full set of iron tools, a, an iron sword, and we've got our iron. Uh, well, we've got a wooden targe because we're not quite high enough level. We need one more level to get the iron targe, which I'm sure we'll do the next time. But that's us for today. Until the next time, I'll see you later. Bye now.